Hello and welcome to another art tutorial with Mrs P. Today we're going to be applying all our skills that we've learnt in our previous lessons and we're going to be learning how to draw an actual role doll character. So we're going to be learning how to draw Matilda in the style of Quentin Blake, the illustrator who drew all of the illustrations in uh, Matilda. Okay, first of all, get your sheet of paper and I would like you to put it into a uh, portrait and not landscape. The reason why we're doing it in portrait is because um, we're drawing the whole length of Matilda's body. So we want a lot of paper uh, going this way. So make sure you have it in portrait. Then Matilda's fairly central on the page. So when you draw your face, make sure it's central and not too far over one side or the other. Okay, Matilda's face, as you can see, is relatively large and it's circular. So I'm going to go to the center of my page. I'm going to, in pencil, we're blocking out the key shapes. So a lot of these initial uh, steps will be eventually rubbed out or gone over in pen. If you're using the pencil for the whole time doing this, you may want to do this initial part with very faint lines because you don't want them to be too dark because then you'll want to rub them out later. Um, I will be doing mine quite dark, but just so you can see what it looks like over, over the video. So I'm going to draw my uh, circle, but I'm going to uh, not include the top. Uh, so it's going to start from here go round, can be really rough again, remember Quentin Blake isn't perfect with his style and you can lift the pencil up, it doesn't have to be in one straight bit and I'm going to go all the way there but I'm going to leave this part free for where we do the fringe. Right, the first initial shape is that of a triangle, we're going to make it quite um, small for where the neck is and it's going to go in the center of the face and we're going to do a triangle that is roughly the it's a bit bigger than the head so if you get your head size and you go down and make it slightly bigger that's roughly where you want your triangle to end so it's a triangle with the top bit cut off so the neck quite thin and then your triangle is going to be roughly the size of your head, maybe a bit bigger. So we're going to go quite thin and then go right. And that's your triangle, okay? Your initial triangular shape. Cool. Then with the neck, you're going to do a line about here for where Matilda's neck will be, and then you can see that this will be where her clothing is. Right, for the arms, we're going to do another sort of triangular shape. Um, the triangle is going to end in line with the top of her head, and probably about here, and about here. And the point is going to start from where the neck goes. I'm going to draw a line going up, about there and another line and that will give you where Matilda's arms will be okay then I'll do another line and another line okay and then for the legs the legs are going to be again in the central area. They're not going to be all the way over here. She doesn't have wide legs, they're crossed in the center. And we're going to take one leg, which is going to be this one out in front and it's a slight diagonal. So we're going to go down, down. And the leg will be roughly, let's see, the size of the neck down to the end of the dress, so perfect. And we'll have the foot, and it's going to go in this direction. So round, then back. 
and the other leg is going to cross behind it. So I'll go down, follow that line down, and again, and then we'll take the foot going this direction. Okay, perfect. These gives us our basic now Matilda shape. So you have done this in light pencil, and now we can have a bit of fun and do all the details. Either you can now do it in dark pencil, um, or I'm going to do mine in pen. So here we go. I'm going to do the head first. So I'm going to go around. I actually may make the chin slightly more pointed. Go around. And then the nose is, as you can see, an arrow nose, but with a rounded arrow. And it isn't straight, it's on a slight slant. And it's in sort of the centre of the face. And there. And then the smile, it's like a one line smile. But uh, it's quite rough, so it's got a few different ones. So I'm going to take it all the way up to where the nose is and swing it down. And then I'm going to do another line and then another one like that for my smile and then the dot eyes are going to be roughly where the smile ends near the top of the nose one here and then another one about here okay so that's all to my Matilda face then I'll draw the neck I'm going to make it actually slightly skinnier like that and then I'm going to draw the line across for the start of the dress and then with my arms, I'm going to follow the line up for the arm, the end for the sleeve around where the end of the smile is. Can you see sort of roughly in line? I'm going to draw it down, very wide for the sleeve, then draw the sleeve coming down. Then I'm going to take it in a straight line down there. Now can you see with Matilda's dress it's split into two parts. It's um, rough, it's about halfway at that point. So if you look at your triangle, take it around halfway to make that uh, torso line. So I'm going to do it around here. I'm going to do a line like this. And then I'm going to draw this arm. Again, making sure that the sleeve ends in a similar point. And I'm going to make it curved and then I'm going to take it down. Meets the torso bit, it goes straight and then flicks out a bit. Okay, and then I can do the rest of the dress, which will follow the line down. Follow the line down and can you see the dress? It's nice and sort of frilly, so you don't have to do a nice straight line. I'm going to do a curve and I'm going to go up, do a sort of a flick around, curve and then down like that for the dress. And the dress has some lines going to show its direction of the material. Okay. So that's the dress done. And then let's do the legs. So the legs, uh, Roald Dahl has, uh, Quentin Blake has drawn his legs. Actually, uh, you can see the leg line above the dress. So I may do the same. I'm going to go down, go down, draw a line for where the sock would be. And then I'm going to draw my feet. And then Quentin Blake has done a thicker rounded line to show where some shoelaces would go. Then let's draw Matilda's other leg going behind. Again, draw the ankle sock. And then draw a line plus 
make it quite dark and rounded so we can sort of see where um, Matilda's shoelaces would be. And then we can go up to the hand part. This one's really nice and simple, it's laid out and it's your five quick fingers. So we go one, so one, triangle, two, three, four, five, and the wrist, brilliant. And then let's go on to this one, which is angled slightly differently. So you go up, slightly out, then you do one for the thumb. And again, you can go uh, do the wrist, and then you just want your other fingers to go in this direction. So, one, two, three, four, like that. And then for the hair, I'm going to do the fringe first. It's going to fill up most of this empty space. And I'm just going to go quick to give the line of the fringe, the line of direction of the fringe. And then can you see it's going down this way? So I'm going to do one line. And I'm going to do several sort of long lines. One, I'm going to follow it down. And then can you see it goes roughly to this part of the dress? So I'm going to go and draw some quite quick swivels. And then I'll draw some extra lines going in. You don't need to do lots of small lines again, just some big lines to give the general impression of where the hair's going. I'm going to do one line that way. And there's no hair here, and the hair starts um, a bit further in. And again, similar shape. It goes all the way down to here. Some quick lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that is your Matilda. As simple as that. And once you've finished, you may want to grab some coloured pencils or even watercolour paint if you've got any. I've got some coloured pencils. And you may want to colour in your Matilda. So let me colour in mine with some blue. If you've got watercolour paint, you can do this in watercolour. You can do it with any paint, actually, really. It doesn't matter which. I think Quentin Blake does it with watercolours. You can just do it with coloured pencils. You can do it with Sharpies or felt tips entirely up to you. You may want to change the colour of her dress. Um, so I'm just very quickly doing this just to show you. Um, her hair is quite dark brown hair but you may want to change the colour again. It doesn't have to be. Um, it doesn't have to be brown. You can make Matilda have blonde hair. Just very quickly showing you. And then let's see if I've got any peachy colour. This may be a bit pink for her skin, but we'll see. Yeah, probably a bit too pink for the skin. You can colour in yours a lot better than I am. I'm just showing you really quickly. And her blue shoes. Oh, and the hands, I forgot all about the hands. And as you can see, that's my very rough um, Matilda but I'm sure you'll be able to do a lot better than I did there. Um, and if you do want to draw uh, any books, a really nice way of drawing a book, if we draw this one down here, is just to do a, a diagonal, then a similar diagonal, and then join it up one and two, and then you just want to draw the pages so you follow the lines pretty much like that, then you can have some scribble for some writing, and that's a way of doing a book, um, like that. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this How to Draw Matilda art tutorial. Looking forward to seeing you for the next session, bye.